How to prevent liquid flood back and damaging your compressor. One, make sure you always have a minimum of 20F or 11K superheat at the compressor for synthetic refrigerants. Two, have properly sized metering devices for your evaporator. Three, on capillary tube or fixed metering device application, make sure the system has a proper refrigerant charge. Four, when using a substrate accumulator, that will protect against floodback. Five, always make sure you maintain an adequate airflow in the evaporator. Make sure all that liquid refrigerant is boiled off. Six, if you have damaged semi-hermetics from floodback, what you need to do is pull off the oil pump housing, shake hands with the crankshaft, so move it up and down. And if there is a lot of play, you probably had floodback.